Hello my fellow crafters and welcome back to Inspiration for Cards. Today I'm going to be making two pages in my planner, uh, in my memory planner, and that's going to be a bit... Hmm, um, I had a bit of a dilemma, and uh, but I decided to go ahead with it anyway, um, because I'm going to make week eight. Um, I skipped week eight before, I went to week, straight to week nine, and then I thought, no, week eight has to be there. But week eight is the week that the war in Ukraine started. And um, that's something that I just cannot let go past. So that's why I am going to dedicate one page to that. But the dilemma I had is that in the same week, uh, Daniel had a very happy moment and he got his new car. And for me, that sort of clashes. Uh, um, but then again, um, it really got me thinking, OK, life goes on. Life should not be stopped living. And I think this taught us, uh, without having any political opinion about anything, but this has taught us that you have to live your life to the fullest. Uh, and that's why I'm going to go ahead and make these two pages today. So without any further ado, let's dive in and go to my workstation. And here you see week nine. I've uh, done that. Uh, already there is a video about that. It's also on the Elizabeth Craft Designs blog. And I made this one, which was a very happy moment, obviously, because I achieved 1000 subscribers, which was in the same week. No video about this. I made this because I had to play catch up. Uh, it was uh, I was so behind on everything. So I made this page, uh, used the same embossing powder technique on this to make it a bit more matchy matchy. Um, but yeah, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make week eight and that's going to be in here. So I'm going to start with a completely white page and I'm going to make this page. I'm going to use sprays. I'm going to use mixed media. Um, so uh, this is a mixed media paper in white and I'm going to take this, put that on the paper and then I'm going to take a stencil. This is a huge stencil, but I'm going to make um, uh, a pattern on the back using the cadence beton effect, which is a concrete effect relief paste. So, because it'll give a nice pattern on that page. So I'm going to open this up, take some of this paste, line this up where I want it. Like so, I think this will be fine. Hold it down and put some paste on. And I'm going to put this all over the page. Now I need to be remind me, remind me that I have to open up the holes that are in there. But I want to cover this whole page up. So do now is I'm going to scrape off the excess. There we go. This can go back. Close it up well. And then I will peel off the stencil, giving us a very nice pattern and the holes are open so that's good so i'm going to put this rinse this off and i'll be right back okay that's all nice and clean now next i'm going to take this off and what i'm going to do i'm just going to run my finger along the sides because this i don't want these uh, this concrete paste to create any hard edges it's not that bad actually but just run my finger past this so and then I'm going to put this to the side to dry uh, because I'm going to obviously do some more to this. And while that is drying, I'm going to come to my other page. I'm going to be going to make that and then we're coming back to this one. Um, right. So I've got this page and, and the, obviously the page that I'm making is going to be yellow and blue. And I've got these three pictures that are going to go on there. And, and since the other page is completely different themed, yeah, doesn't 
match at all, I'm going to make that a completely different color, opposite. So that's why you see this, um, this, this color screen here. I'm gonna start off with some stamping, and normally I use my Versafine Black, but for some weird reason I can't find that anywhere, so I'm just gonna use Ranger Archival Black, which is also fine. So what I'm gonna be doing is on the front of this pocket, I'm gonna be stamping several stamps, and I wanna stamp something on here on this vellum. Now I wanna adhere the vellum first. So what I've done, I've put the three millimeter tape behind this, um, because that will adhere the vellum nicely to the page. And this is actually one of the dies from the new collection, Time to Travel. It's a beautiful collection. If you haven't seen it yet, which I think you will have seen it by now. Um, and it's, it's a beautiful collection and this is from the film frame set from the top of my head. Um, I'm reorganizing my uh, craft room at the moment and that's why I can't find anything, which is, uh, which is why. Like this. So I'm gonna stamp on the vellum. And I'm gonna stamp on the vellum using my stays on. And on here, I'm going to stamp with archival. Still with me? <laughs> Um, and I'm going to stamp several sayings. I want to remember this. It's going to be right at the top. And I'm going to move from there and see what I want where. So ink it up and stamp it on there. And I'm living on the edge a bit here by doing it all free-handed. But then again, if it's a bit grungy, I don't care. And they stamp beautiful, so I don't know why I'm worried. I want to collect beautiful moments on here. I'm gonna put that right here. What I want on here is sort of a collage of words or sayings. Um, if that makes any sense, so ink it up again. Let me get this a bit closer so you can still see it, but I can also see it. And press it down. Beautiful. Now this little love can go here. because I've got a little space left here. So that will fit there. And this is how I'm gonna fill this whole cover. I think this set, the remember CS121, is very suitable for this theme because it's it's also already sort of a collection. Uh, yeah, the way the stamps are assembled, the words are assembled, it's already collagey thingy like. Um, so yeah, what I find is that discussion I have under here, stamping thingy, I don't know what it's called, um, stempel cursor. Stamping pillow, I don't know. Um, that really helps to stamp it uh, correctly. This one at the bottom here. And then we're already nearly done with this. But I think this sort of, yeah, you create your own background, your own paper on this already very beautiful paper from Reminiscence of Book 2, I think this came from. Yeah, this is from the book two. And you create your own background paper by doing this, stamping this. And Marie Claire does this in a stunning way with black and white. If I would do black and white, that would be a nightmare. So I'm not gonna. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this stamp, put this on there. And I'm going to take a piece of low tech tape. And I'm going to cover up the words that are here. Like this. Then I'm going to ink it up. And I'm going to take away that mask I created. 
because I don't want the words. I just want the hearts, the heart balloons. I think they are. Yeah, I like that. Fine, this is it. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not going to do anything more. All I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp on my vellum. And I'm going to stamp on the vellum using Stazon. Stazon is very suitable to stamp on plastic. Uh, I find it it goes better than with my uh, archival. Um, maybe that's just me. Is this one because every picture tells a story. So I want that on there, right on there. And I'm going to ink that up using stays on. Because vellum is sort of a plasticky, it takes longer to dry as well. So I might heat set it just to make sure I don't smudge it. Give light pressure, not too much. So I don't want to smush it around because it's also more slippery than paper. So yeah, it's easy to mess it up. In my case, that is. There, perfect. Okay, so all the stamping is done. So next I can start to assemble the page, which is right here. I'm just quickly going to heat set this before I do anything else. Okay, that's that. Next I'm going to take my six milliliter millimeter tape and I'm going to put that on the back of this sort of mini booklet. Peel off that backing. That goes very easy, very smooth. Okay, and then I'm going to attach this to my page. Press it down. Next, I've got two pictures here uh, of Daniel with his new car. And I think it's important to, to, this was a very special moment for him. He was very happy with the car. So yeah, I think that uh, should be in there. Because I want to stamp the date on there. Because I don't want to put anything here because that vellum is see-through. So if I put something up there, you will see it through. And I don't like that. So I'm going to take my tape again. I'm going to attach these photos. I'm not going to put a matte layer behind, just simply because I think with this background it has enough and otherwise it will get very thick. I don't want that. I didn't want this to be too thick because on the opposite side you will have the texture of the texture paste as well. So yeah, it's already going to be bulky in my journal, which I absolutely don't mind. Like so, it was the 24th, and that will be stamped at the bottom here. There. That's all I'm going to do to this. I think this is already very nice, like so. So, and I can always decide to put some more things on there, but for now, this is good enough. Then I've got my week eight printed out here, well, cut out here, um, which I cut out of the film strip numbers as I do every week. And as always, I will tag all the products that I use down below as far as I can get them. Uh, I can find them, but I will link everything below in the description box. Um, you will find all the products there. And while you're at it, if you don't mind, give this video a thumbs up because uh, that really helps the algorithm from YouTube to for other people to help find my video as well. And if you haven't done so yet, please consider to subscribe to my channel. That would really make my day. Right. These are little ephemera things that I've got something to do. So I'm going to take it off. Uh, these are uh, ephemera things that I've stamped 
using some Tim Holtz stamps. Um, from Stamp is Anonymous. Beautiful stamps. And they are um, cut out with uh, some of the labels from Elizabeth Craft Designs. They match perfectly. So there we go. I wanted to etch these before I put them on. Then I can actually put it on the paper. There we go. Let's do this one. And while I'm edging, why not do the whole page? This was actually an old page I had laying around from when I prepared my December day by day. Uh, I never got around to using it. And now I found it and I thought, oh, this could go there. That is, I don't want to waste anything. So it just gives it slightly more dimension. And I like the crunchy look it gives as well. I will not lie. Right, so let's put on some glue. There we go. And that is this page for now. I can always add to it if I need feel the need to, but for now I think this is enough um, because it is still a beautiful page, but it's still, in a way, it's busy, but because there's no pictures, it's calm, and then when you open it, you see actually uh, what the story is about. So that's that. So I'm going to put this one to the side after I have put on my whole reinforcers. Why do I always forget the whole reinforcers? And I'm just going to keep them plain black on this one. Bring back the black from week eight and also from this stamping that I did. I like how that came out. Yeah, why not put these on there? That really finishes the page, right? At least I think so. Cool. That's that. Gonna put this to the side and now we're gonna see if this is dry. I don't know if you can see, it has a beautiful texture to it and it really looks like concrete. And it's nice and dry. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna get my splatter box because I don't wanna make a mess. Okay, so I've got my splatter box, got some paper in there, got my base page here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the blue at the top. This is a mica stain from the Christmas collection. Beautiful. So I thought, thought about to use that. And I'm going to use the flickering candle, which is also from the same collection. Got some Mermaid Lagoon ink that I'm gonna just splatter on there. And fairly, that's it. I'm just gonna use some water to let it move a bit. And then take my heat tool, dry it a bit, and I'm gonna dab off. The paste works a bit as a resist, so that gray is coming back through. That's what I like. Okay, I really took my time drying this because there was a lot of ink on there. Um, but I love how this page turned out. It's beautiful. Um, it makes the colors really shine from the page. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put this to the side for a minute. And I'm going to mat my uh, pictures that I'm going to put on there. And the pictures I'm going to put on there stop the war. Again, stop the war and this one. Make love, not war. 
which is always better, right? So I'm going to take my tape again and put that on the black matte layers. Now, what I had in my mind is I want to put these like so in the center of the page, like this. And then I've got the date. and some text explaining what was going on. Something like this. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to attach these. I'm going to also, despite the fact that this, these are sticky at the back, I'm going to put some glue on because on this, it might need some extra glue power. I always trim off a tiny bit from the other side, because otherwise it's not balanced. I'm sticking these on now, but I just realized that I've made the page wrong. I'm an idiot. Um, but I can fix that. No worries. I have to take off the rush up because otherwise I can't fix that anymore. Well, if everything was so easy to fix, then life would be a lot simpler. But in this case, it's not a big thing. I can fix it. There we go. And then Russia needs to go. Right here. There we go. So the page has to go on here, um, on this side, and I've made it to go on this side, which is dumb. David is dumb. Okay, having said that, I'm smart enough to know how to fix it. So um, that's a good thing, right? Um, happy accidents happen. So I'm gonna think about the details and then uh, I'm gonna fix this. I want this glue to be dried really well before I continue. Um, because I need to do some edging, etc. So, uh, but it will be fixed. I'll be right back. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this off slightly. Um, using my deckle trimmer. I'm going to trim off the holes. Just going to see. Okay, what I've done, I've trimmed down the page using my deckle edge uh, trimmer. And I've etched the sides using black suit to uh, give it a bit more dimension um, and to bring in the black matching the page, the back page. And now I'm going to line that up. And I think in the end it was a happy accident. And I wrong. I have to do that the other way around. It has to go like this, David. I nearly made the same mistake again, but it's on there now and it's the right way around. So I'm there. Um, so it really pops off the page. That's what I wanted to say when I noticed I did it wrong again because it has to go on the left side of the page. And for some reason in my head, that doesn't click. If I don't have the two pages next to each other, it doesn't click. But I saw it in time, so I could save it again. 
Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to line up the holes, the two pages, and that should fix it. That should line it up perfectly. In my head, at least it should. And it does. And then we have the page done. Press it down. And that, my friends, concludes the page. So let me get my planner and I will put them in because I think that always makes a difference. So this one goes on this side and then I've got the other page on this side. And that concludes my week eight. So we've got the start of the war in Ukraine and we've got Daniel on this side. Thank you for watching my video. And as I said before, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider to do so because that really helps me. So, and when, when I achieve 1,500, I will do a very nice draw of a very nice set from Elizabeth Craft Designs, a nice die set this time. So 1,500. So if you haven't subscribed yet, do so to make a chance to win that prize. Thank you for watching this one. And I really look forward to see you the next one. Thank you very much. Bye.